April Edrington here at the Belmont Farmers Market, which just opened on a cloudy day that looks like it might be turning sunny. How how many years has the Belmont Farmers Market been in Belmont? This is our 19th season. We opened in 2006. That's exciting. And we, we might have a little rain today, but what's the silver lining for you that we're opening today? That we're opening today. That we're opening today. <laughs> we have been working since we closed, pretty much, to get vendors lined up and everything else that has to be done. And so one of the most important things I think about our farmers market, probably farmers markets across the country, is that you accept SNAP and that really um, is an important step to help address food insecurity in the community. Can you tell us a little bit about that partnership please? We started uh, taking SNAP in 2000, 2011. We got a grant to do that and it was a little bit under a thousand dollars that we did. Last year, SNAP was like $26,000. So we, we, tr we process people's SNAP cards and we give them double the amount in tokens, up to an extra $25 every week. That's an incredible difference for a lot of families who are dealing with food insecurity. And SNAP also comes with a program called HIP where people get free produce, instant rebates, depending on household size, $40 to $80. And it's all just complicated to explain but the programs are wonderful because we want people to have enough food. It's just something we all take for granted if we have it. That's right. Well, we're so grateful for your service, and we're going to go enjoy some of the booths. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, it's so exciting to have you here. I know you're going to probably have a very long line very soon. And um, what drew you to the Belmont Farmers Market? Uh, like uh, I went to like different farmers market uh, to our pastries, all coffees. But uh, every time I pass by here, I'm like, this is crowded. <laughs> I'm coming in. So we tried a couple of years, and finally um, they let us in this year, and which is very exciting. And um, to see it's a good day to start. Uh, we're here at Buzz and Thrive Gardens, another new vendor here at the Belmont Farmers Market. Just as the rain's starting, so first of all, we're glad you have a tent. Thanks for that. Yeah, no Could problem. you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name's Patrick Hillman, and I am the owner of, my wife and I are the owner of Buzz and Thrive Gardens. We're located in uh, Lemonster, Massachusetts. Okay, so a little bit of a drive today. We're yeah. so happy to have you here. And what drew you to the Belmont Farmers Market? Um, we've always heard it's been a wonderful, great market. Uh, we see a lot of similar vendors that we see out in other markets, so that's kind of what drew us here. So here we are, and we've got a little rain. So my question to everyone today is, what's your silver lining? Um, my plants love the rain. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, they, I don't have to worry too much about covering them up. Uh, they actually might need a little bit of watering, so All there's right. my silver lining. <laughs> and tell us what you brought today. Looks like um, you have some succulents yeah, over here. Yeah, we have everything from some uh, succulents to a uh, couple different types of ferns and then to uh, a couple different carnivorous plants, which I'm holding one in my hand. But, Ooh, carnivorous. Yeah. yeah. Do you have to feed them? Uh, no, they'll find... Uh, you know, the bugs will find them and they'll find the bugs, yeah. Well, we are here at Bliss Point Meadery, which I'm sure some of you will be excited to come down and visit. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jeff with Bliss Point Meadery. We're out of Bedford, Massachusetts. Uh, this is actually our first visit to the Belmont Farmer's Market. We're thrilled to have you here. What drew you into Belmont for our Farmer's Market? Um, well, I've heard I have a lot of friends that live in Belmont. Um, they've told me great things about the community, and I've been interested in connecting Belmont with our mead. Well, I think that Belmont's probably going to be very happy to be connected with your mead. Can you tell us a little bit about your products? Sure. So mead is alcohol made from honey. That's all of our products on the table here. We've got carbonated meads that are 6.9% alcohol and bubbly. And we have still meads that are wine style, wine strength, 11 to 16% and no bubbles. We've got honey only flavors, fruited, herbs, spice, you name it. So come on down, try a sample. We'll find you something you like. That's terrific. And can we say hello to you too? Oh, sure. Uh, my name's Tim. I'm uh, just starting out here. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you both with us, and we encourage everyone to come down and give the meat a try. we got some customers right here, so we're going to get out of the way. Hi, we're here at Soul Good Confections, and I'm going to have our visitor here, our vendor here, introduce herself. Hi, I'm Kimberly Texera, and I'm the owner of Soul Good Confections, and we make coconut caramel candies that are gluten-free, dairy-free, allergy-friendly, and they're vegan, too. Well, it sounds like you'll probably have a lot of customers this year. I know, particularly with the pollen this week, we just don't want anything that's going to make us uh, have any allergen problems. How many years have you been coming to the Belmont this Farmer's Market? This is my Market? third season. It's your third. third and, and what brought you back? 
the, the market. I love this market. It's my favorite in the in the Boston area, and the customers are great, and the market managers are fantastic. So it's a great market for me. Oh, that's really nice. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear it because they work all year long to bring a good market to us. Um, and on this cloudy day, what's your silver lining? Being able to come out here on this day and interact with the town of Belmont. Well, thank you for coming back. It's so great to have you. We're here at Roundtable Farm, one of our favorites, as you might remember, mostly for the Cosmo cheese, which I'm sure we're going to learn about in a minute. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Lee with Roundtable Farm. As she said, we make all aged artisan cheese from raw cow's milk. I'm currently our only cheese maker, so I do make it all myself. Um, we have a variety of cheeses that are all based on traditional recipes, but they're all pretty unique to us. And I always have samples, so feel free to come on down to the market and give us a try. That's amazing. So I've had this one question. I think I asked it last year and I can't remember the answer. Are you a cheese maker or a cheese monger? I'm kind of both because I make all our cheese, I age all our cheese, I cut and pack all our cheese, and I'm here selling it at market. So I kind of do the whole shebang. Full service. We love that. Do you want to tell us about what you brought with you today? Yeah, so I have my Dahlia, which is our longest aged cheese, about 10 months. It's an alpine style, super nutty and complex, great melter. I have my Sweet Pea, which is our most popular, most unique to us, based on a Tellagio style, but we go for a brie-like texture, really nice, bright flavor. I have my Sunny Jack, which is just creamy and snacky. And then, as she mentioned, our Cosmo, also super popular, really sharp with a nice, unique, fruity kick to it. Well, we are so excited, first of all, to have you back. Do you know how many years you guys have been coming? Three, I think. I think this is our third year. Yeah. Oh, well, we're delighted. <laughs> Welcome. And, My favorite um, market, so we're happy to be back. And while we're dealing with these clouds, what's your silver lining? Well, it's not as hot today. It's not 88 degrees. My cheese won't melt, so that's good. And I think the rain's going to hold off. We're going to have a good first day. <laughs> Wonderful. We hope you do, and thanks for coming this year. Thank you.